Do you think but the public the end, should think about you differently, though? I mean, we were talking about actually endorsements and endorsees. You know, obviously, you know, Larry David was in the FTX Super Bowl commercial. Tom Brady took on his role as a, as a spokesman of sorts for the company. You're a spokesman for the sorts of the company. Uh, not of sorts, but were. It's funny. Uh, I don't know if it's funny. Some people wouldn't expect a Larry David or a Tom Brady, maybe fairly or unfairly, to either have known or understood or necessarily done all the diligence that they should have done. But and let me tell you that, why. But they I mean, look at you but, and they think that you should have. Well, that's interesting to differentiate me. I can tell you he's a better quarterback than I am. So there's things we do differently. But let me tell you what the theory was and why Sam Bankman Fried was hiring all these people. He was very jealous of the accounts that Coinbase had, and he wanted to figure out how to build a retail base quickly. And so it's not crazy what he did. Putting his name on an arena makes sense if you can make a brand become ubiquitous in America so that you can try and get more consumers to build that base. Maybe jealous isn't the right word, but he said they started three years earlier and they were way ahead of him, and he wanted to catch up. And that was the way to do it. So it's not a crazy theory. Companies advertise, and they do it this way. Now, obviously, none of us would have wanted to be in this mess if we could have avoided it, but we just didn't know. And frankly, venture investing, venture investing is you can do all the due diligence you want. You're still going to get eight out of 10, go to zero. That's been the stats since 1954 when they first started covering it in Boston. Right. So hey, Kevin, at the end of the day, that's the nature of, of investing this way. It's risky. Just one question about the creditors, just your opinion on it, since you're trying to get on the creditors committee. If they do recover money, that money that goes back, what should the order of the creditors be? Who should get paid back first? The people who actually lost their money that they, they were asking them to hold or contractors and spokespeople? Like where, where should that fall in your opinion? I, I always, my opinion about this is when you become an advocate for getting it back on a credit committee, you take care of the small people first, the people that lost their money in terms, I don't mean small people, I mean people that, diminishment, diminishment amounts inside their accounts, they're hurt the most. And so it's not that the shareholders of which I'm included, I'm in both of these groups, I don't think we should get anything back. We're venture investors. We're big boys. We lost our money. We understand it. I don't want anything back there until the people that had money in the accounts get theirs back. That, that just seems that, that just seems fair. And I, I really, because we, we know as venture investors, we're going to get it wrong 80 percent of the time. And here's another one. But it just there's something wrong with sweeping somebody's account of their assets. Where is that money? That's the question I have. And everybody on the committee is going to want the same answer. And so does John Ray. Where? This is a classic case. And he said it himself this week in front of the Senate, too. This is just follow the money.